Just been joined by Lisa De Rescue, who's just finished third in today's women's 1500 metres. Congratulations on that performance, Lisa. Do you want to just talk about how it felt today? Yeah, I felt really strong today. Um, practically, it was a complete disaster. Um, I was quite surprised it was so slow. You know, I thought it was going to be a quick pace. Well, I've just mentioned to Hannah England. She said that she'd, a few, all you Brits thought that obviously it was going to be a quick pace yeah. going out in a true run race, essentially. Yeah, so. Um, I think the pace was down from 64 65. When I was in 70, I was a bit gobsmacked. Um, I was a little bit worried because I'm not really very sharp. I didn't know sure. if I had to have the gears there at the end. Um, but I, sort of, I, I think they were there and I kind of came through quite strong. But it was a difficult race because I didn't feel like I could quite give my all because I didn't want to take any big Right. So okay. I had my eye on the other girls. So um, I'm quite pleased. But a little bit sort of so, with that playing on your mentality, obviously, like I say, it's, it's a race you want to be in it to win it, but also yeah. the selection as well. So, the whereabouts of the Brits was that playing on your That's mind it. as well? And likewise, in the fair last week, I just didn't feel that I could take any risks. Like, okay. I really wanted to follow the pace maker last Wednesday and run a quick time, but had I been beaten or kind of finished third down the field or blown up or something, I don't think it would have looked very, very well for my selection sure. kind of um, position. So, just been kind of proved my yeah. ability without doing anything too dangerous because they haven't got the reins behind me. I just don't quite know what's there. So okay. It's a bit risky. So if we touch upon that then, so perhaps just go back to the history. So you were, you were injured over the winter, so you lost, yes. missed a lot of work over the winter. Yes. Things started to roll, you went out to South Africa, things were moving again, and then you came back and you've had a slight sort of a niggle, was it? Sorry, yeah, was you... um, I had a bone stress in my left femur, right. um, which kind of, um, I find out just before I made some train um, And I felt quite a lot of discomfort around kind of that time, and then I had to completely offload, um, quite on the bed, beginning to go into stress fracture. So I sure. um, found um, I've been using the old kitchen treadmill. Okay. Um, okay. Cross training, loads. Right. And then doing um, the minimal amount of kind of track work that I can do. Right, sure. The maximum that will <laughs> make me fit, but prevent me Yeah, I know. So it's like you say, it's that thin edge between I need yeah. to get myself fit, but I can't. It's too tight a selection decision to force anything. So, did you, have you, have you, have you, have you, been, have you always felt that provided you've done enough work to obviously justify that you would be able to eligible for selection for Berlin? Um, I thought, yeah, I just, I just knew I had to be competitive today with the British girls. Um, my aim was to be the first Brit across yep. the line, um, which I did, so I was quite content with that, but I just, I just don't really know what they're looking for. They haven't given us any sure. guidelines, so it's difficult. Oh, it is difficult, yeah. but I suppose, <laughs> bit, and, and people have gone from a biased perspective, from your point of view, like I say, first Brit across the line today, so obviously that's boding well. Last year, massive step up in the end terms of in on the international stage that pretty sure a hundred percent Lisa Dabrisky there's definitely a shout for a medal so do you feel as though you're moving forward comparing to last year then in terms of the time frame you've got left I think it's about three weeks now is yes. it do you feel yes. going into Berlin that you can get yourself into a similar sort of shape and yes. be competitive in that final? Yeah I mean the training that I've been doing is just taking off and taking off week by week and um, my progress has been coming through and coming through and I'm getting stronger and stronger in each session and Get fit quite quickly. Yeah. If I can just have the right, the right sessions, and I have so much faith in George. He you knows. Yeah, I was just going to touch upon that then. Obviously, the, 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 obviously, I know the knowledge of George Gandhi's yeah. coaching. It's sort of like I say, it's, we can't do everything in that first week. And uh, like I say, it's your faith in him that yeah. each week there's going to be that little bit more. And as feeling yeah. comes round, like I say, four eight today, third in an international field. Another yeah. three weeks time, like I say, with that mentality of a bit more each week. Yeah. Is that where you get the confidence from Definitely. to say that you can go forward? Yeah. I mean, I looked at Melbourne when I was out there. Um, I raced in um, South Africa like um, about four weeks before the Commonwealth Games, around 4.16. Okay. Twelve days before the, the Commonwealth Games, I finished seventh in an open meeting in Melbourne in round 4.13. Right. So, okay. You know, he knows what works, and, and I'm not fresh at the moment, I'm still, because I'm still quite heavy training. Sure. But, there is a lot more to come, but I just hope I'm in the right place. Well, like I say, obviously yourself, Hannah, Steph, other than Charlene, it's an anxious decision. Yeah. I said to Hannah, just probably the best way to sum it up, either way we're going to have three international class Brits going to Berlin, whoever yeah. it works out, but hope obviously in your sake that it is the right decision for you yeah. and we can see you in Berlin being competitive again and just, like I say, being the Lisa Dabrisky that we saw last year. So all the best for the selection yeah. decision and the rest.